Clues, head coach of the Cavaliers, Jamie Kluzman. Season opens for real this weekend down in South Carolina, a couple games, two nights. First off, we'll, we'll look at Limestone, uh, traditional power in Conference Carolina. is coming off a little bit of a down year for them. Uh, what can you tell us about the Saints? Uh, very successful program. Um, coach Fox does a great job with them. Uh, they play fast. They look to penetrate all the time. I, I'm sure we're going to have our hands full trying to, you know, keep penetration out of the middle. Uh, they use a lot of ball screens, so that's something we're going to have to review today. But like I said, they're well coached. They play extremely hard, and uh, it'll be a tough matchup for us for sure. The next day you take on Converse. That'll be a neutral site game, same place down in Gaffney, South Carolina. Uh, what can you tell us about that club? Uh, new coach. Uh, you know, the coach came from Gannon, which is known to be a powerhouse in the PSAC. So, He's had a lot of successful seasons there, so I expect him to do good things at Converse. Uh, as far as personnel, uh, we're able to watch film from last year, and that's about all we know on them. So it's going to be um, a lot of scouting tomorrow because they play the first game, and hopefully we'll have an idea going into Saturday what we're up against. Unique situation this weekend, uh, playing back-to-back. -back. The only time you really see that's in postseason play. Um, how does that impact your team? You only played seven players at Western Carolina in exhibition. Uh, does that force you to go more in the bench or, or conditioning or just speak on that a little bit? Uh, it's just going to be an in-game decision really. Uh, you know, we played at Western Carolina. We took yesterday off. Um, most of the girls got into the training room and worked with Dana uh, to do a little bit of rest and recovery with her. Uh, so hopefully we have our legs back under us. Today is going to be a light practice, a lot of preparation as far as scout um, and you know tomorrow another new thing for us is driving down the day of getting off the bus and playing you know we're not necessarily used to that being in the mountain east because a lot of uh, trips we went the night before so that's going to be something that we have to adjust to as well um, but hopefully we'll be well rested and it's uh, beginning of the year you know it's our first regular season game so if they're not excited and can't put tired legs you know behind them then we have bigger issues You've had a chance now to look at that film from Western Carolina. Uh, thoughts there on what you saw that was positive and maybe some things that, that you all need to work on going on this weekend? Uh, yeah, there were positives, a um, few negatives. Uh, one of the biggest concerns is we feel like we can jump with everyone when it comes to rebounding versus you know going back to tr traditional boxing out, releasing, and going to get the ball. Um, you know, I feel like we beat ourselves, honestly. We missed a ton of layups. Uh, easy baskets that we normally make um, and you know giving up offensive rebounds really hurt us um, and then with Sunita and Caitlin fouling out in the fourth quarter uh, it kind of forced us to go with a bigger lineup and we had a few matchup problems but honestly I feel like if we had another shot at them I think we would come out on the other end of the win column. This weekend uh, coach two games so uh, it's a little weird here asking about two different games in one setting um, things that, that you'll have to have happen for, for your team to be successful? Uh, consistency. Uh, you know, that's the biggest thing that we've been talking about all year. We'll have a great practice and we'll have an okay practice and then the following day it'll be a, a really bad practice. So, you know, in order to be successful in any league or whatever you're going up against, you know, it's consistency is the biggest key. Uh, and staying out of foul trouble. I think we have the right pieces, but if those pieces are on the bench, then we're going to struggle to win. Coach, thank you for your time and good luck this weekend. Thank you.